Righto guys, I'm here with Hacho, who uh, who essentially doesn't work for BHP, is that right? Correct, yeah. You work for ESS, yep. and they're the guys that actually run the site here. Yeah. Right, so you manage all the staff and the, and the crew in the way that the cleaners, the cooks, the maintenance, the pool guys, you know, the shops, whatever it is, you look after all that. Yep, correct. Yep. Right up. And, and where are you from? Uh, originally Melbourne, um, living in Townsville at the moment. Okay. So I live over in the East Coast. So then, you're, you're a fly friend? Yep. You're yep. a flying flyer? Flying flyer. And how long are you here before you go? I do two weeks here and then two weeks back at uh, Townsville or so wherever. And, yeah. when, and when you're home, you're probably flat out doing home stuff, mate. Is that yeah, right? home stuff or, yeah, yeah yep. hanging out, doing stuff. Do a lot of art and music. So okay, I hang yeah. out. Do you play music? No, no, just organise events. So oh, wow. Art, art and music events. Yep, yep. Lots of musos and, and visual arts. Now, Tell me, from our brief chat yesterday, you said you've got about a, you have about a hundred crew here. About yeah, on the books. Any, any given day, there's, there'd be about fifty-three yep. staff here: cooks, cleaners, security, maintenance crew. Yep, right across the board. They, they, they've got a little pub here as well that was open early pub. when we came back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, the guys have night shift to go and have their, their yeah. knock on drinks. That's it. Wow, look, I, I'm really super amazed that, like, I've never been to one of these places before, yeah. and I'm really amazed at how great it is. Like, when we turned up here last night, it was pretty dark and pretty late. Yeah, yeah. And I said, he was just like driving into a caravan bar. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty well lit caravan bar. And very well lit. Actually, when we drove down the road, I still thought it was part of the airport. <laughs> I thought it was the runway lights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where I'm located right now, in Port Hedland, it's a BHP camp, mining camp facility called Port Haven. And right now I'm situated in the mess. Now this is where they have all their meals here and it can be up to a thousand people. Changeovers and comes and goes. Fight, they're called FIFOs, fly in, fly out. And they have chefs, they have so many varieties of different food. Uh, I ate here last night when I got in because it was late. And I've just eaten a beautiful breakfast. In fact, I've had something that I've never had before, which was a poached egg that was still in the shell. And you crack it and out it comes. Perfectly poached, perfectly poached. Never had that before. Apparently it's gonna be like 63 degrees in the water or something like that. And it, and it goes really well. So, but I, I'm gonna go for a little bit of ride around on my board and I'll show you this place. Between you and me, I am super impressed. I did not expect this. And they're telling me it's only 10 minutes to the beach. I don't know if you can swim there. I don't know if there's crocodiles here or anything like that. But 10 minutes to the beach. My goodness, I feel like I'm in the outback. I've just been to organize my pre-board, which is what we do for passengers with special needs or the elderly or unaccompanied minors, whatever they do. They get the pre-board. My flight leaves at 11.20, QF475 to Perth. Boarding is at 11, but there will be someone here called commissioners. Then they come to get uh, the people that need assistance uh, about 15, 20 minutes earlier. So, but I, I had a bit of a walk around because they've actually renovated the Melbourne Qantas Club since I've been here last, and it's absolutely fantastic. Fabulous, there's so much stuff. I had a quick look at the food. There is a massive array of healthy food here. There's fruit salads and there's like berry compote yogurt. And let me tell you, if I have, if I eat berry compote yogurt, it's gonna come out berry compote yogurt. So I'm staying right away from that. Well, I've now made it to the Qantas Club. I've checked in and everything else. And I've got my great friend Joy here, bringing me a beautiful cappuccino. Thank you so much, Joy. Can I just get a put on the floor here for me? Thank you so much. That's great. Can I get a little teaspoon for that as well? A teaspoon. I've got to eat the chocolate and the front of the teaspoon. Thank you. You know what? The wonderful care that people get here in these Qantas clubs all around Australia and also internationally is really unbelievable. So from Qantas, or from me to Qantas, thank you so much. And you know, I, I love my red hat. I really do. With today's life, at such a fast pace, 
everybody struggles to find simple pleasures. And let me show you one of my simple pleasures. My friend Joy had just brought me over a, ooh, 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 a nice hot little cappuccino. And I love eating the chocolate and the froth off the top of the cappuccinos. Probably not the healthiest thing for you, but you know what? Sunday morning coffee, you can't beat it. So make sure that you thoroughly enjoy with every sip or every spoonful that you have. You can't beat that froth and chocolate. Here I am today at Taylor's Lake Secondary College in Melbourne, where it's a very brisk, I reckon it's about a minus 22 degrees, but I think it's about four, maybe three. Thank goodness I've got a nice hot cup of joe right here to get my hands warm to keep me moving around. Came in from Port Hedland yesterday, where it was 36 degrees and down to this temperature, wow. A little bit Piccadilly this morning. I've got a year eight group coming in first, then we've got morning tea, then I've got year nine after that, then the leadership conference as well. So I can't wait. Today's going to be absolutely unbelievable and I'm ready to rock Taylor's Lake Secondary College. G'day guys, another first for me today. I'm actually going on the Dreamliner. Jillaroo is her name and she's only six months old. And here is my crew. G'day guys. Hi. Here we go, there we all are there. Apparently they're going to re make really good care of me or take really good care of me. Give me a few beers and get me legless all the way back to Melbourne. <laughs> so, I've never been on the Dreamliner. This is going to be an experience. Let's go and see what it looks like. G'day guys, well I've just come on board and I'm sitting in two Echo on the new Dreamliner and its name is Jillaroo and it's fantastic. And the best thing about this bird is the wonderful, wonderful crew that are on board. Oh, they just sensational. Shannon and Sandra, and oh, there's just so many wonderful crew here that are looking after me. And I'm really surprised at how much room there is. I mean, obviously I've got no legs, but look at all this room here. Now here I am with Kylie, who is actually, Kylie is the one that actually instigated me coming <laughs> up here to Port Hedland and has worked very hard in doing so. So I want to ask you, Kylie, what, why did you want me to come up here so, to come up and speak to these kids essentially? Oh, the Young Leaders Day? Yep. yep. So I have a group of students that I took down part of the VH Group Liberal Education Partnership. Yes. And they were the head boys and head girls from Headland and Newman. Yes. Um, and I was just inspired by the way you brought the crowd together and what you spoke about. And I think thank it you. really resonates with what the children go through. Yeah, thank you so much. So I just thought, hey, why can't we bring you here and cover more things? Yeah, exactly right. Um, and that's what we're doing tomorrow. Absolutely. I've got about 150 students. Uh, what age group? Uh, year 5, 6, 7 and 8. Oh, I'm going to blow their socks off. And they're coming, some are coming from out of town. So, wow. Um, some as far away as 5 hours away. Wow, 5 hours. And that's on a donkey. This is nature's road train. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 cars. What, 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 the link's been broken, catch up, catch up. Isn't that amazing? There we, oh, there we go, he's back on. He's hooked back up. This is nature's road train right here. Check it out. Now let's make sure then that we don't touch ourselves and put our hands in our pants. 